Hello Leo, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. I'm here to do your June uh, reading. Welcome uh, to my channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, I do tarot scoops, tarot scoops, <laughs> yeah, tarot scoops, tarot scopes each uh, month for all signs. Uh, these are general readings, they may or may not resonate, so claim them if if they do and move on if they don't. This is uh, for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Leo, you might want to tune in. Also need to mention I don't do face-to-face -face readings, so um, if anybody approaches you offering them, uh, and they usually do around Taroscope's time, uh, then it's not me, so block and report them. They tend to steal uh, my logo and, um, yeah... <laughs> pretend to be me they're not me block them block and report all right let's get started okay I recently got these Tibetan symbols and I absolutely love them <laughs> I just want to ring them all the time all right let's get going um with the the decks I'm using the Orion's Animal Tarot the Shaman's Dream Oracle and the Prism's Tarot if I need any further clarification. I'll be uh, drawing four or five cards for you and then clarifying with the Oracle, which can just take me deeper uh, than the Tarot. Sometimes. It's just the way I'm doing it this month. All right. Leo, let's tune right in clairvoyantly. There's a decision that you will have to make in June. Okay, uh, I'm seeing like a crossroads situation for you. Some of you may not apply to all. Uh, if it does, you'll know what I mean. And it's it could even be around a move. Um, it's like uh, is it? It's like moving moving out of difficulty by putting up boundaries and guardrails. This is what you're thinking about now, Leo. Generally, oh. Page, page of Swords, uh, perhaps you've had um, an enlightenment. There's not, you're not in, in some circumstances not sharing as much maybe as what you did before because you're keeping that guardrail up. Now, for you to do that, then something has occurred or the situation is such that you need these guardrails or boundaries in some sort of situation, whether that's at work, whether it's in a personal relationship, could even be from family relationships. It's like your, um, it's like, it's a quality of discernment, basically. Um, and I think that's kind of a little bit new for you, we all go through stages. Maybe there's been a discerning stage that you've been in in the past. But um, I feel that, that you're going in, inward a little bit, which is not not where you, um, I guess, Leo, uh, you know, always seen as the life of the party. There, um, Leo is associated with the fifth house of creativity and expression and confidence but there's also the other side to that as well. We always have to uh, honour the cycles to go within to get to get to that inspiration. I think that's what you might be doing a bit of in June. All right, let's pull some cards. What's happening for Leo in June 2022? Leo in June 2022. Twi <coughs> Pardon me. It's not 2022. It's 2023. And no, it won't affect the reading. Uh, I have done that in the past. And people said, oh, no, does my reading actually count? Let's do it again. I'm pretty sure Spirit will fix that up for me. All right. So June 2023, Leo. What's that? Uh, And, you know, look, I have to say, sometimes that's a Freudian slip. What were you doing in June 2022? Does that have any bearing on the current situation? Because there, there, there is, there's a randomness about synchronicities that we need to open up for. Not everything is a mistake. If it's a mistake, it can also be an opportunity as well. And and again, I'm saying that to you 
in some way. Maybe that means something to you. All right, June 2023 possibly has its roots in a situation that you found in June 2022. Possibly for some people. All right. Show me clearly uh, opportunities, strengths, weaknesses, challenges, issues, events. What is occurring for Leo in June 2023? Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. This could be around a family situation. It's the love. It's it's whether it's friendships or family it's about it's all about love for you the knight of pentacles very very similar to uh in some ways to uh the reading that i did on sagittarius if you have any well in some ways if you have any sagittarian in the chart you might want to watch that as well um the knight of pentacles sustainability uh long-term financial sustainability for you and those that you love and we get the ace of cups it's all about love for you in June. So why the discernment that I picked up? Let's keep going. The three of wands, work, working hard. Again, um, inspiration, doing the work so that it pays off uh, at a later time. And we get the star card. The star card is hope, faith, and the Ace of Pentacles, this is a money issue for some. This is a money issue for some. What's at the bottom? Justice, yeah. Okay, so here we get to the uh, thin ed edge of the wedge, as they say. There's a money issue coming here. Uh, there could be something that occurs out of the blue uh, with someone very close to you. Uh, it could be you've been disappointed in the past, Um but there's one cup remaining. Yeah, this is money. There's a the the this is where you're being discerning. It's around money for some. Uh, but this spread tells me you don't have to worry. It, you don't have to worry. You get the star card. When that comes forward, that's your compass. If you're worried about money, if you're worried about how uh, maybe somebody took something fr from you or you're worried you don't have enough. This is this talks about you've set yourself up quite well. You've now got an ace and the star card, two aces, ace of cups, ace of pentacles, the star card, the queen of cups. There could be a uh, water sign uh, female in your life. This, this is Cancerian, Piscean. Scorpio, uh, its general uh, meaning is self-care. Okay. Okay. You've got good cards, Leo. You really do for close relationships, for family, for love, for... But you are worried about money. Let's dig down a bit and see what's going on. Now, again, well, there is a concern about money... Money going out, whether or not you've kept enough for yourself, looking after yourself. Um, and it's like you're playing for the longer term. And this is, I think, why you're being so discerning. Let's have a look. What's going on for Leo? Leo in June 2023. All right, Queen of Cups. Show me Queen of Cups. All right, so we have here rising above the fray. Ah, that's interesting. This is again discernment. Um, to to be quite quite um, honest, I, I really thought Leo sometimes lacks discernment. <laughs> but this is what you're doing. You're seeing a situation very clearly, and there's a a protection that you're putting around yourself. One more, uh, the sacred contract covenant is not just with, that's your learning, you see. The sacred contract is with your learning and the getting of wisdom through learning the lessons. So you're being very, very, very careful with something here uh, to try and protect yourself. Let's, uh, let's dig down a little and see what the Knight of Pentacles, this is reliability, this is um, sustainability of your finances, 
sustainability of your finances. Show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. Limitless possibilities. So, you know, you could stars in the sky. You could be considering what can I do in the future? How can I bring in um, that sustainable kind of income? And then we get the rising above the fray. So you're, it's like you're looking for what suits you best. And the sacred covenant, I did shuffle again. Uh, it's about you, the divine matrix. Uh, this is You're going quite deep into something. Leo, the galactic mushroom. It's like coming out of your shell, coming out of... I just get the impression that you you know you're no longer burying your head in the sand. There's an issue around not just looking after everybody else but looking after yourself as well. And there's an issue here around money, clarity and organization, a tidy house. So it is if you want to be the knight of pentacles, if you want that that sustainability then now is the time to organize clarity. Uh, clarity of mind. Uh, I do think some of you are doing some budgeting and some of you are doing some long-range thinking around your long-term financial security. But the message here in this reading is don't worry too much. You've got the star card and that's what I want to tune into as well as the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm really liking this reading. It's like you're figuring it all out. Okay, the star. Why is the star here? It's like going with the flow. Why is the star here? Not being rigid in anything. Herald of change. Going with the flow. Uh, and the power of community uh, gathering around. There is a decision that you do have to make here. The universe is your partner. And in that decision, I'm wanting to say to you, time to replenish the well yes looking after yourself that you have the universe on your side with that star card if there is a decision and there is change coming don't worry too much you've got the star there now we've got love and we've got finances <laughs> and we've got new starts in both um so let's have a a look Let's have a look at what the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles are doing here for you, Leo. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles for Leo, June 2023. For Leo, in June 2023. Meditation and stillness. Okay. Again, if you have to make a decision, go within and meditate on it. Deep, quiet. Don't run around consulting 15 people over it. Go within and search and ask because you've got the universe in on your side. Ask for the answer. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. And this is where you get into that discernment. It's like you're... You're present, but you're not. Because what are you doing? You're thinking. You're thinking about the future. And we get overwhelm and plenty. Um, uh, that kind of really sums up the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There's an abundance in your life that hasn't been there for a long time. Your uh, This is whale song resonating. You're at a frequency that's really healthy for you, Leo. But you still have those earthly worries. Um and I just want to say the universe is your partner. Uh, something is coming to you, I think, in June, and you'll have to make a decision about it. Um, the disowned self, this is where Leo can get quite deep uh, because um, you, you are addressing those areas where your self-confidence may have been lacking. And you're pondering that. And you're looking at ways to put up guardrails so that people don't take from you anymore. That they take your confidence. They take your self-esteem. You're not letting them do that anymore. And, you know, amen to that, Leo. So June is uh, 
it's a good reading. You know, I don't see any negative cards. They're all really, really good cards. But you are thinking deeply on a couple of matters around self-care, self-esteem, putting up guardrails, and then long-term financial flow. You're thinking about that as well. So good luck. Good luck in June. Um, and with two, two aces there, uh, you could expect something to come through that you weren't expecting, some kind of monetary flow coming to you that maybe you weren't expecting. All right, I will uh, see you again next month. <laughs> and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.